We're at the semi-final stage of the men's hammer and describing the action is Stuart Storey, assisted by Paul Dickinson. Thanks for that, Steve. You're joining me here for the semi-final stage of this hammer competition. Paul Dickinson is joining me in the commentary box. Let's take you over to the action. The British competitor then is up next. And they've not held anything back on that one. It's landed very close to the 65-metre line. This looked good from the point of release until it landed. That was a fine throw. It was brilliant, really. Yes, they look pleased with themselves, as well they might after that one. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. The British athlete is preparing to perform. Well, he really made the field sit up and take notice with that first round effort. He'll be looking to sustain that in round two. Let's see how he goes. That arc is perfect. This is going to be very good. It's out of the sector. Oh, he could have hit someone there. He started out well, but somewhere it all went wrong. He won't be best pleased with that, that's for sure. Just missed out there because of that foul. They'll need to sort that out before the next attempt. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Great Britain! This is the man they're all chasing at the moment. He's so experienced, though. He knows you can't afford to sit on a lead in this event. Oh, that's embarrassing for him. You hardly see that at this level of competition. Well, you could say poor timing from this athlete. They're not very happy with that at all. OK, good stuff there, and we'll be seeing them later on in our coverage of that final. We're back inside the Sydney Olympic Stadium now for the women's high jump final. The eagerly awaited contest about to begin. We'll go to Stuart Story. Thanks, Steve. And if the qualifying rounds are to go by, then we've got some great stuff in store for you here. First athlete is already out. Let's join the action. The British athlete is preparing to perform. So let's have... Great Britain! So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Great Britain! Great Britain! Next to compete will be Great Britain. Great Britain! Deep concentration here for her first attempt.
look there as though the bar might drop. After that round, it's first place. Next up is Great Britain. Needing some nice lift to clear this first time. <laughs> oh, she's over the bar! The British competitor then is up next. She's getting ready for her first attempt here. <laughs> She's hit it. Well, an unfortunate foul, but they're still in the competition. Next to compete will be Great Britain. She's made one failure so far. <laughs> oh, this has managed it. The British athlete is preparing to perform. She needs to get a good paced run up. <laughs> well, she needs a much better performance than that. They must regret fouling that, but they're still in the running for this. Let's hope her prior failure at this height doesn't put her off. She made a real mess of that one. They must regret fouling that, but they're still in the running for this. Great Britain! Well, she's just got to keep on trucking. <laughs> yes, she's over! She needs to get a good paced run up. <laughs> She's cleared it, but that was close. The British athlete is preparing to perform. She's getting ready for her first attempt at this height. <laughs> and it's 
gone. They stay in the competition for now, but they don't need to repeat. Having failed at this height once, this will be her second attempt. She's hit the bar. They stay in the competition for now, but they don't need to repeat. The British athlete is preparing to perform. Well, she's just got to keep on trucking. <laughs> just clicked the bar, but it stayed. The British competitor then is up next. Today we can add a new name then to the list of Olympic champions with that magnificent performance that will forever live on in Olympic history. We all feel privileged. Let's take you now to the medal ceremony for the women's high jump. It was a tremendous competition. So let's watch as they collect their medals and we'll celebrate the new Olympic champion. Medals at stake as we head for the final rounds of the men's hammer. Here to tell you more about it is Stuart Story, joined by Paul Dickinson. Thanks for that, Steve. So to the Olympic hammer competition, the final. It promises so much. Let's go and see the action without further ado. Next up is Great Britain. Well, he's giving the other competitors a bit of a lesson here in hammer throwing, but I think he knows that at the back of his mind there may be a challenge.
That's embarrassing. You hardly ever see that at this level. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Next up is Great Britain. Well, he's giving the other competitors a bit of a lesson here in hammer throwing, but I think he knows that at the back of his mind there may be a challenge. And they've not held anything back on that one. Well, that looks to me as though it's a little bit over 70 metres. You could see this was going to be good before it had even left the hand. Yes, Stuart, this is just the sort of thing that crowds came here to see. And an extremely impressive distance there. Oh, they must be ecstatic about that. I bet their nerves are... So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. The British athlete is preparing to perform. And this is a gold medal throw. Already the gold is assured. And they've not held anything back on that one. Oh, that's way off target. Definitely a foul. Well prepared, yes, but a single mistake can ruin everything. He won't be best pleased with that, that's for sure. It's such a technical discipline, this. Fouls are inevitable. They look very disappointed with that. So we've all just been privileged to witness another bit of sporting history, the crowning of a new Olympic champion. Let's take you now to the medal ceremony for the men's hammer, a fiercely contested competition. So let's watch as they receive the ultimate sporting accolade, Olympic medals.